cash, you can spill these tiny metal balls from their pouch to cover an area uh, 10 feet square. Uh, two, so what 4x4 four four square would you like it to encompass where I'm pinging right now? This entire 4 foot square? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I, I, I like that. I want to take my movement back to... You know, thank you for the follow, you know. Here. And I want to stand by. As he's running by me, I would like to say, why are you running that way? The door's that way that we need to go through. Why run past him? We can run outside, back over the pit, and head out the exit there. I like the... You dingus. Uh, yeah, here we go. Alright, so there you go. The ball bearings are on the ground. 10 by 10 foot. Well, yeah, 10 by 10 foot uh, square. There you go. Alright, so you've ran, used your movement. Uh, that's it for Arvaldir. Alright, so... Ball bearings do exactly... What? Let me double check real quick. I think it's a, a save is needed. Let's see. Yeah, is it like deck save? Yeah, I see. Creature it's DC 10 dexterity. Or prone saving or something throw. like that. Okay, yeah, it looks like a DC 10 saving throw or prone. Okay. A creature moving through the area at half speed doesn't need to make the saving throw. Okay. So I'm going to metagame the shit out of that. <laughs> hey, why not? Why not just join everybody else, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So this slime, this you know, slimy type of type of you know suction cup scraping that you heard on the floor, uh, a red creature, uh, sort of a a tadpole looking monster, appears over the ledge and starts to slink its way. And seeing that this is a, a, a very slow-moving creature, <coughs> uh, I'm actually not going to make it roll because of the the way that it is moving. And plus, it's, it's literally on the ground as well. So it's going to move up. No uh, save needed, and it's going to attack dirt. So, this is definitely an aberration that none of you have ever seen before. Yeah, I was going to say, it what is, the fuck is it that? Is, it is red in color, and it, and it represents a uh, sort of like a tadpole, like a, like a huge red tadpole with lots of, lots of uh, warts that are like kind of opening up and spewing like this red bile, sort of like zits popping on it. It's, it's uh, pretty disgusting. So, okay, dirt. You're being attacked by a uh, like a red tadpole. Oh yay! <laughs> you, you need to put the the the, dungeon, the monster manual away, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, dirt. So the attack on you is a seven yeah. versus armor class. So basically, uh, a a glob of this comes up to your shield. You're able to put your shield up, and it basically bounces Lock off. It. So yeah. All right, dirt. Yeah. You're up now. What are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm going to pull out my light crossbow, and I am going to shoot an arrow at dude right here. <clears throat> that will be disadvantage. Put away? Did you say put away the monster manual? Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hurt. All right, so what are you going to do now, Dirt? I'm pulling out my light crossbow, mm -hmm. and I am shooting it at the uh, guy there. Okay. Disadvantage? Which one are you shooting at? The, the tadpole or the nothic? The nothic. Okay. The gothic. The, the, go <laughs> the, the, the gothic? Alright, so you have an enemy, a creature still adjacent from you. Well, I'm sorry, within five foot reach. So yes, uh, you will have disadvantage on the Disadvantage? Your okay, yep. so disadvantage, and then I add my modifier, which is a two. For and dexterity. You break your bow. Where is the roll? Oh, my modifier for dexterity. A uh, hand crossbow. That's a ranged weapon, so <sighs> it's it's going off of uh, it's going off of dex dirt. Okay. It should be on your. Uh, let's see. Is it on yeah, your character sheet? Yeah, I have sheet? plus I two. I yeah. pl my wow, Gabe does right, so. all this work on a character sheet. So yeah, I know. Don't so know it's how plus two. Yeah, he's there. It he's says. there. Yeah. yeah, you're plus two to hit, or you're what? plus six to hit with your longsword. So, 
Uh, disadvantage, uh, an 11 versus armor class uh, on the, the Nothic, that is a miss. He basically okay. catches the arrow, and then he snaps it, and he starts to eat the arrow. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I, uh, I move over to this corner over here. And okay. that will end my turn. Okay, <laughs> you move that's over it. to the corner. I love it. All right, so that's it for Dirt. Lazar, you're up. What are you going to do? All I, right. I don't know why he, he I'm going brought his crossbow out. Uh, that was crazy. Mage armor. <clears throat> okay, now is that a bonus action, or or is that an action? That is an action. And it takes a spell slot as well, right? Yep, so I'm going to roll for some wild magic. Yep. Oh god. Oh my god. Are really? you kidding me? <laughs> really? Really? Wow, that is oh unbelievable. My. First roll right. of the night. Our, All right, in our so sword I cast surges. mirror image. <clears throat> unbelievable. That is unbelievable. So you cast Mirror Image, huh? 86 on the chart. And I just moved that, actually, to another page. <laughs> I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm actually going to upload that chart into the game. Just for you, man. <laughs> Seriously. I'm on a roll. I actually do not remember. So in eighty six, I gotta look that up. You cast mirror image. Mirror image is three illusory duplicates of yourself appear in your space. Until the spell ends, the duplicates move with you and mimic your actions, shifting positions so it's impossible to track which image is real. This lasts for one minute as well. You can use your action to dismiss the illusory duplicates. Each time a creature targets you with an attack during the, during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of your duplicates. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. With two duplicates, the attack's uh, target the attacks target to a duplicate which with two duplicates you must roll an 8 or higher with one duplicate you must roll an 11 or higher so a duplicate's uh, AC is 10 plus your dex modifier and if an attack hits a duplicate the duplicate is destroyed a duplicate can be destroyed only by an attack that it hits it ignores all other damage and effects the spell ends with all three duplicates when all three duplicates are destroyed <clears throat> I wonder if a when I cast the mage armor, would that apply also to my mirror images? Or? It shouldn't because you cost it. Would, it, it would prior. be, it's it's yeah, it would be on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a, a creature is. Because uh, it was an armor class plus your dex, right? Well, for the duplicates, yes, but uh, the the mage armor does not apply to the duplicates because he casts right. that first, then the surge happened, and then the. Uh, the duplicates, um, you know, appeared. A creature is unaffected by the spell if it can't see, if it relies on senses other than sight, such as blind sight, or if it can perceive illusions as false, as false as in true sight. Pretty cool. I like a, I like mirror images. It seems like it's just like the way it used to be. All right. So you have a. Uh, Three. Just go ahead and put uh, like a uh, like a like a red circle or something with three in it, and we'll that'll let us know you still have three illusions in your space as well. So pretty cool. If you want to surge, <laughs> if you surge, that's how you want to surge. Yeah. All right, Lazar, you've used your action. Uh, what else would you like to do? Would you like to do any movements or anything? Uh. No, actually, I'm just going to stay right there. Okay. Rogar, what are you doing? You're up. <clears throat> Kiss my ass well, goodbye. First, first roll of the night, and you spell surge. Good job. <laughs> I like it. 
cast Sacred Flame on the red thing. I don't know. Actually, can I do a nature check on that first? I, I would love for you to do I was waiting for somebody to do a, a, a nature check slash history check. You could do either or. I'm not picky. Well, I think it would be nature to recollect if uh, I've ever seen this thing before. Or, you know, you could probably read about it in tombs and, and uh, text and whatnot, so... Either whatever. Way, it's the same, yeah. same, uh, same modifier for me. Whichever gives you the highest mold. Alright, so you recognize this uh, in your past teachings as a, uh, as a slod tadpole. And the, the the what you remember about these slawed tadpoles is uh, basically it's something that comes from an, another slotty. Basically, now there's really nothing and from what you remember. There's really nothing special about this, uh, but it can attack. You remember hearing stories of mm -hmm. of these slotties attacking. You know, you know, in caves and you know. A lot of moist areas, but yes, you, you do know that they can attack. Okay, all right. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame then. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Uh, so that will be a Dexterity save on it. Seventeen deck saving throw. Saved. No damage. Okay. Anything else? Any other movement? Um, I'm assuming climbing up on the barrels will be double movement. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you'd like to climb up on top of the barrels, I, I have no problem with that. <laughs> all right. I'm so done. I think that's thirty foot. So all right. Looks like it's Stains's turn in the turn tracker. Come Stains. Shit Stains. Oh fuck, shit Stains. Now I'm gonna look at Stains and say, "Stay," and he's gonna stay right where I told him to. Yeah, uh, so am I, Mythgar. <laughs> really just. <laughs> Dirt. Yeah. You told him to stay. Yeah. All right. Up out of the pit comes another one of these red creatures. One of these red, ooey, gooey, sticky blobs. And it. I uh, in. obviously tell my my companions what these are. Alright. So Too bad it isn't your turn. Uh well I'm sure he would have relayed it with his part of his free action as he's moving over the barrels. So Alright, so I've uh made another movement. Well I've made my max movement. Uh he actually slid right through the actually the, the ball bearings kind of helped him out a little bit. Coasting him along. Yeah, thanks for that. Sucker. Yeah. So he's gonna go <laughs> ahead and attack the wolf. So, uh, that Snots is a 21 versus armor class. I'm pretty sure that's a hit, yeah. And Snots takes a total of three piercing damage. Okay. And uh, uh -oh. that's what it for do with my Okay. So how many hit points does uh, Snots have normally? 11 or something? Um, yeah. All right. Something like that. Do you, did you have that written down, or do you need me to look it up, Derek? I'm looking. Yeah, look it up, because I'm looking for it right now, and I'm not seeing it. All right. No, future, I had it written down. I just don't see it. Future reference, 11 hit points. Okay. So he's got eight. All right, so the, the red slide, he sl slithers his way up and attacks. Now we're up to the Nothic. Oh my god. This is gonna fucking hurt. The Nothic is gonna he's gonna move at normal rate. I'm gonna make a dexterity saving throw against these uh ball bearings to see if he actually 
makes it. Uh, okay, three. Seventeen, he, he withers his way through these ball bearings in no effect. And he moves in. He saw dirt go around the corner. And it looks like he is going to... Uh, Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> He's gonna slash at dirt a couple times. All right, two attacks. First attack is a twenty-two versus armor class. That's a hit. You take a minimum of four dam four slashing damage. The uh, second attack. I'm gonna wait and do all the damage at once. Second attack is a 17 versus armor class. It's pretty close. That's uh, a miss. Okay, uh, that's it. Or let's see. Damage, he, gotcha. he slashes you twice with his long fingers, and at the end of his fingers, he has these long, very long, sharp. You notice that they actually were sharp as he slashes you across the face. So that is it for the Nothic. And there is uh, one more thing as well as a free action the Nothic does. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting nothing did, less than did, that. Did, did anyone hear me run? All right, tells have been sent out. There is a uh, telepathic communication as well with the Nothic and someone. That is it, Arvaldir. You are up, sir. All right, I can attack this uh, this tadpole with my whip from here, right? You can. It's ten foot, so you just don't add your proficiency or anything in with your whip, so because you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I take out my whip and attack the tadpole close. All right, slash a ooh, nice slash. Five points for everyone. <laughs> it's crits, baby. Five, five, five points. Five, five, five points. Chris has been made. But in chat should say thank you. Everybody gets yeah. five points, and I am. I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna do sneak damage as well. So. Yeah, you do get sneak attack. So you do 2d6 extra. And another one. 14. Alright, so this this red slotty, this red slotty tad bowl basically explodes. And as its, its gelatinous type of sack starts to, you know, shrivel to the ground, all of this like membrane and pus and ooze and snot and shit and everything just kind of comes out of this gaping hole that you put on it with your whip. It is now dead. Arvaldir, uh what else for you? Uh, nothing else. I'll just uh, think I'm going to do... What do you think about that no, fell, no, Uh I'm actually going to take a free action and yell back. Yell back. You will have to take it from my dead cold body. I plan on it. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <Lord. laughs> Alright, so it looks like we have a, a, a red slotty is up. I'm gonna go ahead and move in with the slotty as well. And he is slinking right in over here to Arvaldir. And attacking. Oh How can he sneak past Wolf and Laura Lazar? Very easily. He just walks yeah. right through. He just yeah. slithers his way through. There's no opportunity attacks on that. Yep, he's still not in our five feet. Yeah, there, there's. Yeah. Remember, we're not we're not playing fourth edition. Yep. Is it movement restrained to move inside of an enemy's? Uh, only if you got polearm kind of mastery, this, then yeah. yeah. If you if you're if you're using a halberd and got polearm mastery, then yeah, you could right. you could actually get a free opportunity attack for that thing moving into your square. But no, let's nice try, Buckaroo. That is, it, you get an A for effort, bud. I know you're having four E <laughs> flashbacks and all. So <laughs> there you go. It's gonna attack Still you. Still haven't used the five E. It's going to actually a a rather large mouth appears on this tadpole and lashes out at you. 
Does it have teeth? And that is a six versus armor class, which I believe is a, a miss. Oh, yeah, barely. He, he's all but hurt until I miss, and then he's like, "Yeah, fucking piece of shit! I knew you were gonna miss." <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Fuck. <laughs> That's so good. Way to go, Arvo, dear. That's so good. I love it. Dirt the daring, you're up, dude. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed my longsword out, put my little short bow back or whatever it was, my little crossbow, and I pull out my longsword, and I take a swing directly at the uh, gothic. Okay. You know, thanks for the follow. Uh, Yobi, Jew, thank you very much. Tajgan, Embryum 13. Nine. Nope. Golem 13. Yeah, you, you don't get anywhere close to hitting that thing with a uh, a 9, bud. It basically takes your weapon and almost rips it out of your hand, but you're able to pull it back. Okay. Anything else for you? Would you like to, to move or run or, or anything? Nope. Negative piece, then I'm, I'm All cool. right. Lazar, you're up now. Okay. Uh, a quick reminder. Conrad, not That's an actual box. And Soul I think Crusher. A door somewhere over here. Is that right? No. Nope. MEMO House. Yeah, yeah, huh. Yaya Yaya that, too. And actually, yeah, I'm, down by there? I'm pretty much blocking it. Yeah. Dead sword. Dead sword. Yeah, he's no, right. No, he's sorry. right in the. Uh, yeah, that that other secret yeah. door that you guys knew of was right here. Yeah, I'm blocking it. Okay. Guys ain't running nowhere. Stand and fight. <laughs> You're an ass. I'm going to actually disengage. Renly337, thank you for the follow as well. Slide on over. All right, so you use your, your action to disengage. Yep. Okay, and you used uh, 10 foot of movement. So now these barrels are really starting to teeter and wobble and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the dexterity saving throw? That's the, the, that's the barrels creaking underneath okay. of his... Anything else for you, Mr. Mage? Nope, that's, that's it. I mean, unless you guys want me to, you know, roll on the surge again, but... Uh, no, 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 no. You didn't cast uh, no. any spells, so there's there's no <laughs> surge roll. Give us yeah, a give right. us a one d twenty. Let's just see what what would happen anyway. I because yeah. you've got the worst luck for rolls. Bro. If you get a one, I'm seriously going button. to shit in a bucket. Because I think the button's broken. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I may just make there be a backlash surge. Oh my god, oh, that's close. Goodness. But Rogar, you're up now. What are you doing, man? You jumping off those Rogar's barrels going and to, uh, giving your friend a cast. hand, or you're gonna cast? Oh no 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 no! no. I'm still <laughs> where I'm at. All right. Sacred flame on the Gothic. Ooh. Give me a dexterity save, please. Tasio Tab, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Your DC is 13, by the way. Uh, that is a 15 dexterity saving throw. He saved. No damage. All right. Anything else for you? Any movement? Or... No, no, no. I'm good. All right. So let's see. We have Snots is up now. I guess he's going to turn around and possibly attack the slotty tadpole. Oh, dirt. Welcome to the game that. tonight, Dirt. <laughs> well, I heard that. Welcome to the game tonight, bud. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. So, yeah, I'm gonna. What's going on? Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. Well, it's not. It's not uh, my turn. What? Nothic is up now. Uh, All right. So the 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 Nothic is gonna go ahead and uh, he's going to use a. An action called Rotting Gaze. And let's see, who is he going to choose for Rotting Gaze? Rotting Gaze. I'm going to do a quick roll real quick. Dirt, you are the recipient of a Rotting Gaze. Now, uh, let's see. I need you to make a uh, Constitution saving oh. throw. All right. DC 12. If he fails, he's going to take a shitload of damage. Constitution. Constitution right. saving throw, please. Gotcha. It's coming. Give me one sec. All right. 
you this uh, this basically necrotic type of death and poisonous feeling comes over you uh, as he has his as his large eye kind of like focuses in on you kind of locks in with you you lock eye to eye with it you feel this like feeling of death come over you but but your inner fortitude and constitution shakes this off and it also gets a claw attack as well and it will attack you okay of course Fifteen on armor class. And that's a miss. Alex Windhope, thank you for the subscription, man. Alright, that's it. The Nothic is done. Arvaldir, you're up. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Alex. I appreciate the, uh, the sub. Thank you very much. Slotty Tadpole. If we get if we get three more subs tonight, everyone, I'm gonna do a subscription only giveaway. And plus we have uh, other First things going on as well. 17 versus armor class is a hit. Critical damage, and I'd like to add sneak damage to it as well. Critical damage? I don't see a 20 there. No, it's critical damage. It's a 6 out of a 6. It's a critical hit. Max critical damage. damage. Critical max damage. damage. Critical <laughs> damage. Yeah, max damage. <laughs> so yeah. Over there. 15 okay. damage. First attack. So this other red slime, same thing. Your your weapon pierces it, kind of explodes a little bit. A, a massive amount of gelatinous membrane and other fluids come out of this as it kind of deflates. It is dead as well. All right, Orville dear. Now it's going to be I would like to end my it's going to be difficult terrain moving through this. You know, moving through those squares if, you, if you're wanting to move. So. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Arvel Deer, that's it for you. Taking this slotty out. Dirt, uh, you're up. And just to let you know, it was uh, Snot's... I'm Stains. sorry, it was yeah, Stains' yeah, attack. Yeah. I realized that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's sorry, right. guys. I was slacking. I was looking at my character sheet. That's all right, Dirt. You're, uh, you're good to go. You've got this Snotic right. in front of you. It, okay, it, Dave. Now, I'm going to tell Try to do you something I... with its center uh, eye. Uh, hmm? I, I, I am going <laughs> to... I think I'll swing at it with my longsword, but before I do, I'm going to invoke luck, invoke lucky, so that if I miss, I will be taking this uh, turn again. Okay. Thank you again. Uh, I, I totally appreciate the uh, the sub. Nineteen, Alex. A nineteen versus, versus AC. armor class is a, is a hit. Okay, and I will take my on him then. 23 damage. Excuse me. Oh, uh, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Excuse uh, me. <laughs> wait. Awesome oh, yeah. damage. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. What did you that attack that with? A house? Dude, would that be brutal or what? Nine. All right. Very nice damage, actually, Dirt. Okay. So... That's it for dirt. Uh, you did not have to use a, a luck roll. Lazar, you're up nope. with your...